You know a lot of the mistakes that I see when home service business owners and contractors build out their own websites is that they go out there and build websites that they like, the way they want to make it look. The problem with that is what you're trying to do when you build a website online is you're trying to build a website that Google likes, which ultimately is what a human being likes. You see, Google's always trying to mimic human behavior. So if you build a website that Google likes, basically you're building a website that your customers are going to like and put you in front of the customers already looking for your services in your area. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to structure a lawn care service website, how to structure it so that Google will like it, which ultimately is going to be your customers and get you found online, which will generate leads for your business. What's up there guys, Is here once again, do-it-yourself SEO, where I help home service business owners and contractors understand this whole website stuff, SEO, building their own websites and get their business found online. And on this video, I wanna to talk to you guys how to build a lawn care service website, how to structure it to get it found on the search engines and place basically generate some more leads for your business. Now this structure will work for just about any industry. It doesn't matter if it's lawn care, landscaping, roofer, junk removal, dumpster rental, window cleaner, carpet cleaner, it doesn't matter. And what I've done over the years is I've built website after website after website using this structure, using this template, and just about every single time they rank towards the top of the search results because it's structured in a way that Google likes. And what I try to tell contractors, if you build a website that Google likes, what Google's trying to do is mimic human behavior. So if you do it right, Basically, you're building a website that your customers are going to like. You know, there's a reason it'll go to the top. It's because the search engine understands the human activity. And if the, the way the website's structured and designs, Google will know if people interact with it and they like it. And it's going to help push it towards the top of the search results. I have a lot of examples of that, you know, taking place with a lot of websites that I've built. So I've come up with a template that, you know, it look, might look a little dull, it might look a little boring, but it seems to work over and over and over again. It's just like the same way a subway, pretty much every damn subway looks the same, right? You got where you order, where you pick your veggies and your meats, where you pay, and where you get the hell out. Same as McDonald's, Panda Express, all these fast food places understand that. So they built the same structure because it works. So how would you structure a lawn care service website? You would do it pretty pretty basically, right? It's going to be your main keyword for your website. What's going to be the subject of your website? It's going to be lawn care, right? So let's say that you are a lawn care service in Redding, California. Let's just say that's where your business is at, right? So the theme of your website should be lawn care services in Redding, California, and everything around that theme should be the website. So your homepage should be lawn care services in Redding, California, and you talk about what you do and the services you provide. And then what I would do is I would structure four or five, maybe six service pages that link off your homepage that show people other things that you do. Maybe like sprinkle repair, lawn aeration, lawn fertilization, yard cleanup, things of that, things related to the lawn care sort of other stuff that you provide. Maybe you do some pavers or things like that. But everything should be the central theme of your website should be the lawn care in Redding, California. If you structure that correctly, the chances of your business, especially in a smaller town like Redding, California, that website climbing and when you connect it to your Google business profile, it's going to be tremendous because you're basically doing what Google wants you to do. If you do it correctly, it's going to work out perfectly. So I'm going to show you guys with my template here. I'm going to use my Wix template. I have this on WordPress and I have one built for Wix uh, because I do notice a lot of contractors use in home service businesses use Wix. So I've decided to build a template on Wix. Uh, Wix is a little harder to deal with. It's pretty damn awesome. Honestly, though, once you get it all set up, it's just building. It's a little more, uh, it's just a little tougher. I prefer Word, WordPress because it's kind of structured and it's easier to build. And Wix is kind of floaty and things are moving around. It's hard to line things. But once you get it going, it should be good. So you can see here's my template. I make it pretty easy, you know, so you basically write out that you are lawn care services in Redding, California. You know, what it is that you provide, some of your features, you ask your customers why they were online in the first place. Always remind them why they were online in the first place. You know, and this gives you an opportunity to create that content, tell them that you're the answer to their prayers for the lawn care services, why you rock and the services you provide, what makes you different, sprinkle in some reviews here. 
I'll tell them what's going to happen when they call and contact you. You know, create an email form, your your contact information here, and then a final call to action. That's pretty much it. And then you create some service pages. See, I created the structure for the service pages. It's all set up like this. And then what you want to do with your service pages is, you know, basically tell them, let's say this one's lawn aeration. Let's say that you provide a lawn aeration service. You know, you go into four or 500 words of content of what you do with lawn aeration. It's kind of like a mini version of your homepage specific for this service, right? Let's say another one's for sprinkler repair. You do sprinkler repair in, in Redding, California. So you built that out right there. You tell them what you do with sprinkler repair, the, the steps in, involved, all that stuff. And then all you have to do is create a link back to your homepage on every single one. So you structure it like that. And of course, create an about page and then a contact page, just like that. And you're going to place yourself in perfect position to get your business found online. So I went ahead and started making just a very generic website using my template here and following the rules of SEO that I talk about on this channel all the time. And the reason this template works really well too is because it's already pre-structured with all the SEO stuff that you need in order to make this thing get found on the search results, which of course is gonna give you customers for your business. So very first thing I changed was the heading. Watch, when you click on here, it says edit text, it'll say H1 title tag right there. So it's friendly lawn care in Redding. That's done. We provide a reliable and affordable lawn care service in Redding, California that will keep your property looking pristine year round. I just kind of just do that off the top of my head. Weekly by weekly service, expert maintenance, local friendly service. And you'll see this part says uh, H2 title tag, which is what you need with SEO. H2 title tag, looking for a professional lawn care service in Reading. And are you tired of doing the upkeep of your lawn and yard? Do you want a lush, healthy, and great looking lawn? Never worry about mowing, trimming, and the cleanup after yard work again or anything like that. You know, I didn't go any further, but things like that. What were they looking for? You know, when they went online looking for lawn care service, obviously they have a problem. They don't want to do that shit themselves anymore. So they want somebody else to do it. So that's how you structure the website. And then you do basically the same thing with all of your other service business, sprinkler repair, lawn aeration, lawn fertilization, any other stuff that you do, you know, bush trimming, tree trimming, any other stuff you, you do with your lawn care service. So then what you do is place each one of those services on your menu also, and then you structure each page just like this, but a mini version of each service. So that says what it's looking like so far. It's pretty simple. I just found this background picture and put it on here really quick, but it's really not that difficult. You know, what the templates really do help out a lot. Like I said, I'll provide a link to this template here below where you can just follow it and kind of it shows you how this whole thing works. And just to show you that this works, I did this for a guy who does fence repair or fence installations, fence stuff out in a city called Hermistine, Oregon. And I'm going to show you how this actually worked. So here's how we structured this fence company out in, in a small town in Oregon. We did the same thing, you know, just created the homepage. The theme of the website is going to be fence company in Hermistine, Oregon. And he provides repairs, chain link fence, all, the, all those types of services, new, new fence installation. So that's exactly what we did. That's the theme of the website. We created these sub service pages that all connect to the homepage and we structured it in a way that Google likes, which ultimately is going to be what a human being likes. So you'll see we created the repairs, new installation, temporary fence, stuff like that. Now, if you go, let's say you live in that town and you type in fence installation, right? Why would you type that in unless you're looking for a fence installation? You see the very first one in the Google business profile is his business. We connected that website to that. And somewhere on this page, we make mention about fence installation. This is why that Google's placing his listing to the top of here. And you're going to see his website's probably on here. There's his website in the organic part too. Now let's say somebody, same with fence repair. If I'm living in that town and I type in fence repair, you'll see his business profile there again. Fence company near me. You see his business there again. Just fence company, those two keywords. You'll see there's his, his business there again. And there's his business there again. Um, why? Because we structured it in a way that Google likes, which ultimately is what a human being is going to like. So don't build a website that you personally like that you think looks cool. Build it for the for your clients, build it for your customers, and it's going to give you leads for your business. So that's wanted to share with you guys how this formula works very, very well. It's, it's not as complicated as it might be made out to be. You can do this for yourself if you want to do that. Just go to the link below. 
have that template you guys can follow. And as long as you follow those five rules of SEO, which I'll provide a link in this video here, you're going to be fine and ranking and getting your business found your lawn care services in the town that you're living in. Now, if you're in a bigger town with a lot more competitions, there's a lot more stuff involved, but the basics is still, you need the basics the foundation of getting that structure of the website set up correctly to give you a fighting chance and give you great opportunity to get your business found online. So also I want to share with you guys on just how to build a lawn care service website. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.